I'm giving up is my job. Although I love it, it's my life, it's my passion. But I thought it's a small sacrifice to make, rather than betray them by, you know, speaking against them. I just joined them in Tahrir, and I thought, you know, these are very legitimate demands that every Egyptian wants. counter-revolution is extremely strong. Uh, we knew it would be difficult, but not this difficult. After eight months, very little has changed on the ground. Civilians have been facing military trials. Around 12,000 civilians have been tried in martial courts. That's more than in the 30 years of Mubarak. They don't divide whatsoever. They're Muslims and Christians. I, I, she had a great way of telling the stories, like in a very emotional way that makes you feel like you were there. We are at a crossroads. We have elections coming up on the 28th of November. So what we want from these elections is a parliament that is truly representative of Egyptian society. We have reclaimed our country from the grip of dictatorship. We've taken our first step I know it's a long struggle, but hopefully, you know, a democratic society with strong state institutions. This is what I would like to see for my Egypt, a free Egypt where Egyptians can speak freely.